Hello, I'm Dr. Afshin Aminian, the Medical Director of Chalk Orthopedic Institute, and today we're going to demonstrate scoliosis screening exam. As you all know, this is something that's still mandated uh, by the state to be done uh, in our children at 6th and 7th grade since scoliosis is a very prevalent condition. As a recent statement uh, that was put out by the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeon, the Scoliosis Research Society and also the American Academy of Pediatrics, we still all advocate school screening as a tool for early diagnosis in hopes of picking out uh, some of these children that are developing scoliosis and we could identify them and hopefully come up with some measures to prevent progression of their spinal deformity. So the school screening exam is very important to be done properly and we would like to bring your attention to the next clip that demonstrates proper scoliosis screening in one of our young children with scoliosis. We're going to demonstrate uh, the screening exam for scoliosis and the first thing we do is we have to situate ourselves right uh, behind uh, our child that we're examining her spine. So the examiner sits or stands behind the child and the first thing is inspection. And for the girls, it's very important to have their hairs in a ponytail or to the side that the first thing you want to inspect is the shoulder height asymmetry. And also, you have to have their uh, pants lower than their top of the iliac crest, their pelvis region, so you could assess the waistline asymmetry uh, in, the, in the children. So, the first thing we do is inspection. And the first thing we look at is the shoulder height asymmetry. And as you can see, the right side is elevated than the left side, and I will turn her back and forth to demonstrate this to the camera. So the whole shoulder height asymmetry is easily detected by feeling the top of the scapula, and you can see how one finger is higher than the other. The waistline asymmetry is easily appreciated. Then the next thing you want to do is you feel the top of the iliac crest, and this allows you to assess for leg length discrepancy, and if we have to be very critical in her, my left finger is higher than the right one, indicating maybe the left leg being slightly longer than the right leg. So we're going to turn you again on this side so we can demonstrate the Adams forward bend test for detection of scoliosis. So you have the child relax and you're going to have them lean forward. And the goal is, at this point, is to evaluate the thoracic spine and then the lumbar spine. And what you want to do is to put the thoracic spine parallel to the floor and since the spine is twisting and the spine is attached to the ribs this is how you're going to detect the asymmetry in your exam. So the tool that we use is called the scoliometer and what we do and I'm going to demonstrate that in another plane so you guys can see that a little bit better is you start from up top close to the neck and you center your scoliometer in the middle of the spine and the middle of the spine is easily appreciated by palpating the spinous processes which are the bony prominences because the spine is not straight it has a curvature to it so therefore your scoliometer is probably going to curve like this going down the spine so we center it in the middle of the spinous processes and we walk down and this is the thoracic spine but you can see the lumbar spine is not quite parallel so when you want to get to the lumbar spine you have the child lean a little bit more forward so the lumbar spine is parallel to the ground and now we get to detect the lumbar spine asymmetry. Now this is best demonstrated in this plane so we're going to have you lean forward for us again and here's the thoracic spine and this scoliometer demonstrates 8 degrees ATR which is the angle of truncal rotation so the maximum amount of degrees that you could read when you're moving the scoliometer up and down the thoracic spine. It's right at the apex of the deformity and it measures around 8 degrees. So she has a right thoracic ATR of 8 degrees. And then you march, march down, you get to the lumbar region and you're going to have her lean forward a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, get the lumbar spine parallel and you can see that this reads about 5 degrees now in the left lumbar region, so depending on which side is elevated, that side is going to be uh, coded as the 
uh, the site for the angle of truncal rotation. So a right thoracic ATR of 8 degrees and a left lumbar ATR of 5 degrees. And that's it. Now that the scoliosis screening test has been done, so the question would be, what is the proper follow-up for these children? And as we alluded in our exam, the angle of truncal rotation, ATR, if that measurement is more than five degrees, that could potentially indicate significant spinal curvature that would necessitate referral to a, to a specialist. Here at Children's Hospital Orange County Spine Center, we have one of the comprehensive programs in the region for treatment of spinal deformity in children. And we'll be more than happy to be available to answer any of your questions about screening and proper management of these children. And we'll be more than happy to be available to aid you in this early diagnosis and further treatment of these children with spinal deformity.